class and I'm going to show you how to how to use the trim tool how to project um, how to project uh, on the surface and uh, trim objects so um, let's all I've got this little car here so all I did was created some CV curves and um, did a loft to make this uh, shear outside so that's pretty easy so what I want you guys to do is uh, create this little oval shape thing I don't know if you can hear the laughs from my, my little brother so I can be noisy sometimes change the radius lift this up go into uh, perspective view So um, make sure when projecting you in uh, like I like to do the, this is the front. Let me project from the back. Sorry guys, it's taking a bit longer. In the front, I don't want the front. I want the back. Project it from the back. So. Yep, that's pretty cool. So just directly take it there. So from the back, make sure uh, just shade this. From the back, uh, that's pretty good. Make sure it's um, you you center the pivot. Now select both this and the body. Then edit nerves and proje uh, project curve on the surface. So if you go back to orthographic view, you will notice that um, it's uh, projected our curve on there and at the front. So um, and again, the cool thing the the cool thing about uh, the cool thing about this is you can actually. Um, you can actually edit the curve that you've got you can actually edit the curve that you've got so you can um, move it out a little bit which is pretty cool And um, if you don't like the shape, you can change the shape as well. So you can uh, control vertex and change the shape to whatever you feel like at the time. You know? So you can play with it or do whatever you want. So we'll leave it like this for now. I just yeah I think that's a pretty good shape that's a pretty good one just for just to show you guys how um, how this works so we've got um, our uh, projections here so all we all we have to do now is to, let me show you a little trick okay Cl uh, click on this object click on this uh, little object that you've got duplicated and uh, move it out you know, just bring it somewhere up out of view so that way we don't see it um, now select select uh, select your projection point shift select the body as well then go into edit nerves then uh, trim to okay now to tell you here the, um, click uh, button one on the surface of the selected region you want to keep so right at the moment we want to keep this region 
So click on that one, then press um, enter. Press enter. So uh, when you press enter, you notice that this part has been cut out as well as that part. See? You can see the back. I'm trying to be. Yep, yeah, that's how that's how this works. Now, if we go back to um, if we go back to a surface, this one, the one that we lifted up, we can actually use the these um, these bits to use. We can actually use the these projections as windows. All right. So let's do the same thing again. Trim two, but this time we want to keep this one and that one. Then press enter. You notice this is actually. Um, uh, a trick that my uses it renders uh, these two and uh, doesn't render the rest of it so and thereby leaving you two windows okay so and again if you go to a hall you notice that there's a cage outside okay you notice that there's a, there's a cage outside so it's the cage is like sort of still there and um, select these ones and go into rendering and just change uh, to blend material okay the, just change it to blend material that way it's like a glassy material and uh, just change just increase the transparency that way they like you know look like windows yeah about that and just put them back in that way see they fit right in see they fit right in and we can see that uh, both the back and front fit right in so um let's go ahead and just render this and see how that works out see we've got a little our little car then we can apply our texture and material and stuff like that Yeah, that's a pretty cool trick that I want. Um, I wanted you guys to know. I wanted you guys to know. We'll, we'll, we'll build uh, more sophisticated stuff as soon. Um, the the more we go, the deeper we go into it, the more sophisticated things we're gonna build. But for now, I just want to show you bits, uh, bits and pieces like uh, tricks of how to do it. Combine it into one big object, uh, one big project, and just do a proper car, like a uh, no, normal car, not this little toy but like a normal car photorealistic vehicles and stuff like that so um yeah i hope you liked uh, this two little tutorials of um this little tutorial of using the project two and um yeah so let's see there you go so yes guys um yeah advance to the next tutorial and uh yeah i hope you enjoyed it rate it comment it and um subscribe if you haven't thank you very much